What's up, y'all? Colin here. Going to do another uh, mix rundown on my track, Laughing Large. Um, it's going to be out everywhere May 24th. All your streaming platforms and social medias and what have you. Uh, in the meantime, let's do a little uh, rundown. Let's check out the tracks. Let's check out the processing. Let's check out our plugins. Let's see what's going on in this mix. All right, let's start with drums, which are very, very simple. Um, not much to it. Um, just bounce these out of a out of MIDI samples. Um, very repetitive, but that's kind of what the song needed. Didn't need a whole lot of whole lot of fluff in the in the rhythm section. Um, I do have a double lock running. Um, just for a little bit of extra grit going on. Just a little bit of nasty. A um, little bit of uh, EQ as well. Uh, very minor. Not really doing a whole lot. Just a, a little bit more dirty up. Just a tiny bit of low end. But really, that's barely doing much. Just a little bit of a, a, a low cut in the rumble and uh, dip in those old bass frequencies there, you know, um, or dipping so that the bass frequencies can come through rather, which is always a good idea. Well, most of the time, not always. No always is. Always is. Um, but yeah, just letting that fundamental of the bass guitar come on through. Cool. Um, all right, from the drums, got some claps, just to go ahead and beef up that snare a little bit. Nice little bit of reverb on that. Um, micro shift, probably just to give it a little bit more dimension. It might have been a little flat. Let's see. Yeah, so that micro shift there is just giving it a little bit of delay, actually, just to like widen it or... Uh, just make it seem like more than maybe more than one clap happening. Um, cool. Not much to it. A little bit of reverb. Uh, moving on, we got got some alternating uh, tambo samples here. Low cut, letting that sparkle come on through. Um, and then we got couple of crashes sprinkled throughout same thing low cut give me the sparkle pan to the left um bass also gonna be pretty repetitive with just a couple of cool little fills in there nothing um nothing crazy just movement right um THU for my 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 sim. I do not want to update yet. Um, I think the big thing here is I'm running like obviously some compression, but then also a sort of a chorus. Um, just give a little bit of wobble on the bass. It just gives it some nice dimension and just some yeah, just makes it a little more interesting. Gives it a certain feel. Um, Yep, so THU, and then looks like I'm boosting around 1.5, um, and then dirtying it up a little bit. Again, that's just, same thing here. It's just, maybe just a little bit more of that articulation, um, which helps the bass cut through. Because um, you can see, like, I did a pretty aggressive low cut there, because um, I just wanted to make room for the kick, and, um, yeah, just, I, li I like the way the bass sits with, a little less bass sometimes. Um, yeah, compression, very light compression, because um, it's moving pretty fast, so we're not looking to like bring out any tails or anything, just kind of squish it together. And you can see from the waveform too that it's already pretty compressed, because I do, I do, um, I run it through a, um, a uh, WA273, which is like sort of a, a Neve, style preamp that does a lot of natural compression coming coming in um yeah so just 
just grabbing a couple of those few stray peaks there. Um, moving on here, we're going to have this uh, synth sample, which is actually what kind of started the song off. It's just like these little, these kind of quick stabbies. Um, really cool. That's the sample that kind of, you know, started the idea for the song. Um, I really like, I just like the progression. I liked how it felt. Um, just kind of different, fun. Um, nothing really happened in there. Just a little bit of no processing. Um, generous, low cut. Um, I guess I'm... Here I'm trying to bring out just a little bit of, little bit of um, attack and just, just help it poke through a little bit more. But honestly, like the, the processing is pretty minimal there, um, other than the low cut, to make room for stuff that belongs down there. Um, to just like add a little bit more to these synths, um, I went ahead and dropped in a piano that just follows along with the chords and kind of just like does some stabbies to um, really solidify the chord progression and um, yeah, just bring out that. So let's check those out. Here they are. Just a little stabby. Not much to those either. A um, little bit of a um, uh, little bit of reverb, low cut, just to grab if there was anything weird happening down there. Clear it up. Pants pretty hard. Um, to the left. Um, yeah. So from there, we have these really cool. I love these. I love this uh, very floaty. Synth pack. I don't know where it came from. I love it. Um, again, not much happening. Low cut. Just letting the letting the sounds do their work. It's super floaty, super like just fun, like really pretty sound. Also, just helping to build that that chord progression. Um, Cool. Let's go ahead and add in our guitar now, which works together with the rhythmic components of all these, these keys. The track starts off with this uh, with the guitar here. As y'all probably heard earlier. It's with everything together coming in. Nice, nice. those floaty synth pads. All right. For the guitar here, um, kind of my standard stuff here. Um, generous compression. Um, Echo Boy, which does a lot. You can hear like, quite a difference there, right? And in mo again, this is mostly going to bring the... I use it more for, you know, it's for the processing, not for any type of delay happening here. Zero milliseconds on the on the echo time. So it's just all processing there. Good deal of saturation. Just bringing out that, um, bringing up that, that high and mid range of the acoustic. That just does something really nice to it that I like. Also kind of a lo-fi effect. Um, doing like an FM radio style thing there. So that's pretty cool. Um, little bit of a um, stereo enhancer on there too just to widen it out just a tiny bit um, cool all right let's check it out together oh yeah let's go back for him cool and finally we had this fun little lead deal going on here that 
Um, we can hear there's some delay happening there. Um, Echo Boy Jr. Yeah. Actually, I think that delay might be baked in. Let's see. Yep. So that's just, that was whatever the setting was on that, that synth I pulled through. Um, I use the Echo Boys a lot just for color processing. And uh, not even necessarily, um, not even necessarily delay just because they add such a cool, such a cool, um, character. Cool. So that's everything so far, I believe. Oh yes. And then before we get to the vocals, we just had one more guitar that comes in during the, um, during the courses. Yeah, so for these guitars, just some kind of fun little chord um, chords with little alterations happening. Just for a little bit of movement underneath the chorus, just another element. That's nice. I really like these, though. Um, funny story, I left these out when I sent the track to get mastered. And now um, I'm doing a big no-no, and I'm adding them on top of the mastered track and relimiting for shame but guess what if it sounds good and there's not any weird artifacts or it's not like totally you know destroying the audio or anything weird guess what it's okay okay so yeah let's check out vocals um you got these games that you want to play you know i think i want to play them with you yeah so just a pretty generous amount of processing there um most of it is coming from, yeah, obviously I use a lot of sound toy, stu sound toy stuff, but they have these really nice um, presets that I like to start with a lot of times. Cheap tape, old tape, uh, vocal color change, which we're using here. And then you can just kind of like, because they, they come, it's pretty strong. It's pretty heavy processing. So then you can just come in and kind of dial things back a little bit. But we'll just let you hear what that's doing for the sound here. Um, you got these games that you want adding play. just a lot of color you know, a lot of um, wanna play them with a you. lot of bite and saturation just so it can really jump out see you around running all over town a little you bit know, of weight to it you knew the truth yeah you got yeah so these got the effects rack working pretty hard you for know, most of the processing um and then just kind of my standard chain you. here ds or um, See you around, frequency EQ with a pretty sound. generous you low know, cut I and then two stages of know the truth. Uh, compression happening. Everybody knows there's yeah. no need to be. So that's our main truth. vocal. Um, and then there's these fun little, uh, when we're coming up into the like pre chorus or heading towards the chorus, there's these cool little kind of uh, ad lib back and forthy things and when I think about it, everybody knows kind of chorus -y. there's no need to be elusive I wanna talk about the technical yeah and those are all probably get it yeah exact same processing kind of copy paste to um, these are I'm leaving a little bit more raw and when I think about it, yeah so those are those are just kind of supporting this main one up here Also, don't name your vocal stuff like this. I got lazy. And keep them in order. For shame. For shame. There's no need. I want to talk about the technical truth tonight. I lose you, um, and that brings us into the chorus here. I don't want to tear into. Together we'll see the world. So, yeah, for vocal chorus, double tracked, um, nothing too crazy, standard chain. I, I do have a chorus running on this one just for I don't wanna to add some see. variation to that second vocal, a little bit more than what's normal. I don't wanna it's pretty subtle, but I, I like how it turned out. Sometimes, with, sometimes when I'm um, 
mixing vocals, I'm just adding, I'm, I try a lot of trial and error until it, it feels right, until it sits right, until it sounds right, until it s suits the song. Um, yeah, so since I don't wanna lose. We got a little Alter Boy, which is a very cool plugin, uh, into a slapback, into a micro shift. So a lot going on. You girl. Let's see, where's that little Alter Boy at? I don't wanna tell Let me turn it up so you can really hear it. Oh, together we'll see I guess. The world. I might have decided against it. Nobody but can love me like just left it in for the vocal. But anyways, here's what a little altar boy does. I don't wanna tell into it's something you gotta be a little bit careful we'll with. The um, world. You just kinda wanna poke it out Nobody in certain places almost. Like or almost like you want it like almost too. subconscious, like you want it to be a suggestion of another higher vocal part. And I, I even like to just use it just to help that the high end just like peek through a little bit. You, um, but looks like I didn't I print it with this one. So um, yeah. Together we'll see the world. And then I don't wanna lose you girl. Microshift's just going to do what it sounds like and just widen things up a little bit. Also got a stereo delay on here with a Haas effect. So that's just widening, um, just spreading out the vocal a little bit, making it take up more space and just be more up front. Um, and then we're going to have a little slap back here, which is adding like a fair amount of, fair amount of dirt as well. I don't wanna tell telephone style settings are very mid-rangey. Together we'll see. But yeah, you can hear that that slap back. Pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, Nobody and that is that's chorus like vocals. Um, let's see. Everybody knows also the uh, the verse vocals also were to running to that same uh, slap back. Um, just a little bit. Not quite as much. Cool. Um, I think that's the track. Let's listen. Whole thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This part two. Just had it. So this is coming into the last chorus here. Got a little flanger running and a uh, uh, Echo Boy again, and I'm I'm just using this primarily as EQ right here, right? Because I'm doing just this like transmitter thing, which is all like upper mids and and high end. So we're getting this really cool like you know scooped or uh, filtered sound kind of happening, um, and that's coming out of here where we're. Just might want I'm just taking a little break, taking a little chill. I don't wanna lose you, girl. I don't wanna tear my into together. We'll see the world. Nobody can love me like. That's the track y'all thanks for uh joining me for another mix rundown um this track is called laugh and large it's going to be available may 24th on all streaming uh platforms and whatnot um thanks again for stopping by i'll see you on the next one